If you want to know how to build the most powerful defender hull that we have seen in Battle Pirates up to this point, at least how it performs in the current game, this video is for you. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. Before I start, I'd like to say that I'm just sharing my personal build, not an alliance build, so you can't get mad at me for that. If you don't like it, there's a dislike button, but I guess there's a like button right next to it for all of you who I am helping. I'm first going to start by explaining the special abilities and what makes this hull so powerful. What you see is that under the special abilities, there are two different tab, two different abilities. The first one is an aura that it has a range of 80 that slows down all enemy holes, all attacking holes, to a combat speed of half. So it cuts your combat speed in half if you get within a range of 80. And tactical field resist does not work against this thing. So even if your opponents have tactical field resist on their warhounds, their trenchers, it doesn't matter. Additionally, if you if you are pinched with this, it's my understanding that the pinch will actually not turn this off, and it's going to be there the entire battle. There's nothing you can do about it besides potentially killing the ship. This is a very, very powerful effect. It can make your mongoose and decimators more effective. It can even make your gatekeepers effective once again. So it is very powerful. The second aura or ability that this has is the fact that it doubles the deflection, it doubles the shred rate of all piranhas in your fleet. So before, if your piranhas had a maximum ballistic deflection of 300,000, now they can shred up to 600,000 ballistic deflection. And this can go negative, which means that your turrets could be doing more damage than their just their base listed value if your piranhas shoot at the enemy hole for a long enough period of time. So it, your piranhas with this in here will now shred twice the deflection per shot, as well as they have twice the maximum deflection shredded possible, so it makes your piranhas twice as good. And this special ability from the slowdown aura should actually only apply to tier 9 holes. It's something they've decided to do to make this backwards compatible or something like that, so when tier 10 offensive holes come out, they should absolutely wreck this thing. But this is still going to be very useful for a very long time. This is a very long build time because of that 15 days, which I don't know if I agree with necessarily, and this whole is also the blueprint is sharded, so you can get one part during one event and then maybe the next couple, two, three events. If you can only get a few thousand points each time, you might still be able to actually get this whole eventually. Moving on to a build here, you will only really have one choice for weapons, at least in terms of the traditional sense as standard build, this is explosive mortar damage. I'm just going to put one on here so you can see the damage, and this is the hierarchy mortar that comes with this. It deals 150,000 base explosive damage, which can be boosted and you want to do that, as well as when it hits, it leaves a radioactive field that deals 400,000 damage per second. Again, a pretty powerful number here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost this, this mortar damage, explosive damage, any way I possibly can. The first one is going to be a special that most people are using. This is Desolation Warheads. The, if you don't have this, you could potentially use High Explosive Shells 4, but Desolation Warheads is just better. It has, the main ability here is doubling the projectile speed, so you actually might hit the enemy, and it also increases your explosive damage by 85%, which is great. Already, your explosive damage is nearly doubled. Next up, you're going to want to use the Garrison Battery. This is has the ability of increasing explosive damage, which is fantastic. Everything else on here is useless, so just stick that on here. Now, and the next spell you could, you could put on is something that deals with potentially evade. I'm going to tell you that a lot of people are using ECM Dampener because this thing has evade bonus and also has stun resistance because most people don't know that if you get hit by a pinch, this field actually doesn't go away. But this special could potentially still be useful if people are attacking you with a basilisk and are pinching this thing so they can get a prep or two off. So you could put some kind of evade special on here if you wanted to. Just realize that my current understanding is that stun resistance does not mitigate the slowdown effect from your from the aura. So that is going to be something that you want to consider before actually putting a stun resist special on here because it might not be particularly useful. So I'm going to skip that one for now and come back to that at the end. In terms of other explosive damage, there are definitely a few things that you could do here. I'm not going to recommend anything such as a scope here that will affect your range, but you could consider that if you wanted to. Now there is also the explosive damage upgrade, which simply just adds explosive damage at 10%. You could go for this, and this is probably what a lot of people are going to go for. Because now your damage started at 150,000 per mortar is now 360,000. 
The reload time on this mortar is also fairly significant. It's six seconds unranked. If you wanted to reduce that, you could go for some explosive reload special, such as say the XM reloader, which is really only there for the reload. Everything else here and doesn't really do much. The ballistic reload, radioactive reload, all that stuff doesn't help. The countermeasure reload definitely doesn't. You're looking for the CMXM reloader. You don't have any countermeasures on the ship, whatever. As long as you have that plus 90% more reload, that is exactly what you are looking for because that essentially cuts your, cut your reload time in half. If you wanted to, and if breaking deflection becomes more important, you could continue and put another explosive upgrade on here if you wanted to. And a lot of people, like I mentioned, are actually putting on, say, a Gilded System 4, or they are putting on the ECM dampener on the slot. It is now my understanding that Sun Resist does not help against the pinch, as I said. Now, for these other weapons here, you could put on other mortars, which will be great. And we'll do, like you have here, the listed damage is 150,000. Or, if you potentially go for a rocket, there is a short range rocket here, the Death Rattle Rocket, that deals less damage that you could put on there. And this will be effective if attackers come to you through short range. And I got this idea through several people still using old Conqueror ships onslaughts in their fleet. Uh, this isn't really the best choice, and it's not something that I personally plan on going for, but it is an option for you. I'm just going to put on another two Hierarchy Mortars here, so we can see the time at the end. In terms of the armor, we have been hinted at that new Defender armor is coming at some point in the nearish future. So I'm just going to build this blank hole right here, which is 23 days, maybe a little bit less if my refit bonuses are applied because I'm just putting the flag first and then putting on the weapons and specials, etc. So I'm just going to build mine personally like this for now. And later, if we don't have Defender armor, I need to put things on here, I'll go for some. You could always put on the plates that people are using to reduce damage. So if a lot of people are attacking you with, say, trenchers, you want to put want to put on, say, ballistic plates. A lot of people are attacking you with warhounds, which do concussive or explosive. You want to put on concussive or explosive plates. And you can only put on one of each type, so I'm just going to throw a few on here as an example, just so you can see what's going on. Now, they are a little bit difficult to find, just make sure you put on the right ones. And if you don't want to do that, you can always put on, say, the D5 EV armor, which is the version that just adds evade. This is just great, brings your evade up, which makes it harder to kill you with trenchers if you wanted to. And you could also go for just Agility System 4 over this one I had in here, that explosive upgrade, which brings your evade bonus up much higher and additionally gives stun resistance against people potentially using pinches from you. Now, I don't want you to just copy the build here because everything I've shown could change up a little bit. I want you to understand the tech and why I'm putting it on here. So if you have questions, feel free to ask those in the comments below. This video should give you a pretty good starting idea of a Overlord Carrier build, although I haven't actually tested this thing. You can see I don't have it built. And I, ha I have hit people using these things, but I don't know their, their builds. I just know that it is a very, very powerful hole. I will leave this, what I have right here, as a hash code in the description, which should help you if you just actually want to put in your shipyard and see what I'm playing around with. I always recommend actually understanding what you're putting on your hole instead of just, say, blindly copying me. Hope this video helped. If you have any questions, like I said, leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.